Hi, welcome to Swahili Kingdom Quantifiers Ote and Oote. So today we are learning the formation of Oote, which simply means any. Both quantifiers Ote and Oote varies from one noun class to another. In this video, we will discuss about Oote, its formation, the prefixes used in every noun class, its usage, where to put it in a sentence, and so on. So oote simply means any when when used with, with its appropriate prefix before it. So e example, mtoto atakula chakula chochote. So the prefix is put in the where there are where there are hyphens. So cho is put in before the o, the first o and before the second o to make chochote. The child will eat any kind of food. As I've said oote means any. Note that it is put after the noun it modifies or the adjective or the anything that it modifies, it is put after. Chakula chochote. Chumba chochote. In case of two or more nouns, each noun is considered separately. Hello, so do you want this? to cram vocabularies with no struggle? Use this app. It has all the five levels, the beginner, the intermediate, up to the expert. So go download this app in the description link below and support Swahili Kingdom. It even has a chat net. You can, ha you can chat with a bot right here and we have daily native conversations. We have notes. Get direct translations from here and it has 60 plus languages. So stop waiting and get this. The link is in the description box below. Prefixes used, note, they are same as those in possessives. If you have not ha checked about possessives, go check in this video, in this channel, I mean, sorry. So, mwa uses yi, y, and wa. Mwa yoyote, mwa wowote. Ki v uses chi and vya. Kitabu chochote, vitabu vivyote. Mm, me uses wa and ya. Mto wote, mito yoyote. Any river, any rivers. Jima uses l and ya. Yai lolote, mayai yoyote. N mm, uses ya za. Dawa yoyote, dawa zozote. Uzi uses wa za. Ukuta wote. Kuta zozote. Pa kumu uses pa, ku, and mwa. E.g. pahalipopote. Pahalipopote can means wherever, any place. Mahalikokote. The whole place, wherever. Mahali momote. This one is rarely used. Mahali momote. The whole place inside or wherever inside. Sentence examples. Watoto wote walienda shule. Any children went to school. Pahali popote pananuka. Any place is smelling. Ndizi yoyote inaweza kuoza. Any banana can go bad. Kikombe chochote kitavunjika. Any cup will be broken. Imba nyimbo yoyote tutasikiliza tu. Sing any song, we'll just listen. Fanya chochote utakacho, lakini usilalamike. Do whatever you want to do, but don't complain. Soma kitabu chochote, read any book. So as, as I've said earlier, the prefix is put before the hyphen and after where the hyphen is. All the places where the hy hyphens are like, or ought to put ch. You put cho cho te cho cho te yo yo te. Okay? So you can form you can comment down below sentences that you have formed so that you you continue improving just like that. We will check together if this and we can correct if the sentences you have formed are nice. We can correct if you want. And the app that I've said, you can use it for free or you might up, you can upgrade it, so go download it. Note the following, when oote is added to a prefix, 
it means any or anything. It can also mean whatever, whichever thing, whoever person, wherever and whenever. Example, fanya jambo lolote utakalo. Do whatever thing, thing you want. Nenda na mtu yoyote mtakai. Go with whoever you like. I don't care. <laughs> Nenda na mtu yoyote mtakai. Kichu, kichukue wakati wote utakapo. Kichukue wakati wote utakapo taka. Take it whenever you want. Enda popote. Nita kufuata. Wherever you go, I'll follow you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to get more videos every week. Imagine three videos per week. Three grammar, two grammar videos, and one song translation. Comment your song below, Swahili song be down below, so that I can translate it for you guys. And it will not be helping me alone. It will be helping many other people. I also learn some things when I'm translating the song. So comment the song below so that you can all learn. Subscribe for more videos to come every week. Three videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to meet you next time again so that we can learn together. Bye.